Hi everybody, I want you to fall for your walls this week. So I'm gonna show you uh, several different ways with some of the new things that we have in the store that you can kind of um, redecorate and add a little pop of fall or one of the holidays coming up to your house very quickly and very easily with um, some simple things. And we're gonna start with these fabulous little um, uh, willow wall baskets that we've got. So we've got one in the middle here that you'll notice is kind of our everyday look that we've had for the summer in here and I wanted to show you how easy it is for you to just take this, zhuzh it up and make it into a brand new fall piece instead. So I'm gonna take out our little hydrangeas here if it will let go for me. Should have practiced this before I went on camera, huh? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out as well. But you can see up here we've got several different kinds of um, little foliage pieces, faux foliage pieces that you can um, put in here. So if I wanted, I can um, tuck this in, still have a little bit of green and a little bit of fall. But, and you could really stop with that if you wanted to. You know, it's simple and easy. You could add a little bit of ribbon to it if you wanted. But I want to add a little pop of Halloween so that I still have room to tuck in above and we can always use a little bit of wire with this if we need to, but you can go with something silly and fun like this. I love these, they're kind of reminiscent of the Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, um, images. But I can put him in and sit, and we just have this adorable little piece. You can put it on, you know, a small wall or on your front door or back door, um, office door, anything like that and you can pick out any one of the um, little plastic uh, figures instead if you want to, if, if it might possibly get a little bit of rain or something on it. If it's, you know, a covered porch, I wouldn't put it out in, you know, fully uncovered, but you could always do something like this. And then what I would do if I was gonna do this is I would just take a little bit of florist's wire and I would run it and um, hold him in by just going through the back of the basket um, and hold him in place. So we can have just a funny little guy like that in there, or I'm wholly into black cats right now. Um, you'll have to come by the store and find out why, but um, so you could add in this little guy in here as well. And like I said, I would come in and I would wire him into the basket um, to stay for the season, but it's just easy, fun thing you can do. If you have an even smaller space and you need to go with a tiny little piece, we've got the most um, small uh, basket that we've got here. And you can see we added one of these little balls here in this different colorway, and then just put a little fabric pumpkin in with it. And that is simple and cute and done. You know, very, very easy to do. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, if you were to come in, for instance, and pick up one of these um, fabulous candle rings, maybe you're looking for something, you know, you're going to put it with your glass hurricanes or you're going to hang it on your door as a small wreath. You can come in here and actually steal a little piece off of this and no one will ever know. We would take it and we would snip it out and then we could even add just a little bit of the bittersweet in here with it for a pop of a little bit of brightness and color here. And you still have this, so you really get multiple, the most use out of your pieces that you're buying um, when you come in and we can help you figure those things out. I don't want to snip it yet because somebody might come in and buy this and I don't want them to think I've been stealing from them. <laughs> so, but it's a really easy thing to do. And then of course, you know, we have the longer pieces of the garland, the bittersweet garland here. And again, you can just take a little bit of this, snip it off with your wire cutters and tuck it in for a little bit and then take it back out again and you've got a simple fall color that's not quite so Halloween and it'll go clear into when you decorate for Christmas. So Tanya made up another one for me here so that we can merge right on into the Thanksgiving season. And again, she took our little, this is the similar um, bouquet. It's just a little bundle like this, easy peasy done. You do not have to put that together. That doesn't take any talent whatsoever to put that together. And she's even, I can hear it underneath there. She's got a little bit of um, tissue in there to kind of help hold it. We could put styrofoam if we wanted to, to help hold these things in place. Um, and then she's put her little uh, turkeys in for Thanksgiving. And you can even see up here when she zooms in that she's added one of the little rust chickadees and wired it into the back here as well. So you can add just layer on layer all of the different elements of fall 
Um, so that's three different ways you can use these three sizes of wall baskets. And so next I'm going to take you out into the other room and we're going to show you a couple more ideas. All right, so the next element I want to show you guys is one of our absolute favorite wall decor items, which is the Houston Lou Spirit tiles. These are um, artist design tiles that are made by using ground glass and they bake it onto copper sheeting after they've laid it out with um, stencils on there. And so each one is hand done by one of his apprentice artists there in the studio. And it's just so interesting but i want to draw your attention to a couple of the fall designs for houston that he's had this one came out earlier this year and it is actually called meander and so you've got this beautiful fall trees scene in it and the quote on it each one of these has a quote on it and this one is from crystal middlemoss i hope i pronounced that right but like a river love will cut a new path wherever it meets an obstacle and so, I mean, they're all, they just have such beautiful meaning. I'm sure you can find something um, here that touches something about a member of your family or a friend or something like that. And then I also wanted to show you, I love this one with the fireside and the cocoa mugs. This one is from Margaret Elizabeth Sanger, Sangster. And um, the quote is, there's nothing half so pleasant as coming home again. Who doesn't love that? You know what I mean? Um, so those are a couple of the fall ones. Now I wanted to be sure to draw your attention. We just received our second um, shipment of the new tiles for this summer and it is Leap. This one right here you see with the child jumping off of the dock. I absolutely love this one. It's from Michael Bassey Johnson, the quote, and it's ripples are made by those reckless enough to make a splash. So what a great gift for a, a child, somebody graduating, moving on, moving into their first home, something like that, um, getting a new job. Um, there's all kinds of occasions you can think of to connect this to. And then for all of our Flamingo 11 customers here, I wanted to show you that um, we've got the uh, Lao Tzu, and um, the quote for this one is, take each step with care and intention, and you will find balance along the way. So that's so fun with the flamingo on here. I know pink may not be fall, but maybe you're going to your Florida house and pink is fall to you. So we're just going to go with that. But these tiles are fantastic because they're so, so easy. You can see I've just used a little dry roll screw here to hang these. They have a hole on the back. They're super easy to mount in the house. And then another wonderful thing about them is that they are perfectly square. And so if you want to put them into your um, bookcases or on a uh, so a little demi loon table or something like that or a sofa table in a smaller area of your house they sit perfectly square and so you can add this beautiful pop of color and intensity into your displays in that way also so one more style I'm gonna come back in a second and show you and help you fall in love with your walls Thank you, Claudia. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Claudia. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Not at all. Not at all. So, all right, guys, we've got our last little segment here of falling in love with your walls. And so I just wanted to show you a couple of sunflower. That's always been a perennial favorite for the fall, you know, because these are what are in bloom this time of year. And so we've just received this beautiful collection of the... Um, it's textured paper that they have used um, to do these. And then I believe it might be a watercolor print on top of um, the textured paper, but you've got three different varieties. So you can go down and fill a nice skinny wall if you want to, or any one of these individual pieces would look fantastic on its own. And then this I wanted to show you for my very, very last piece with the um, sunflower is from the Fresh Cut Paper Company. And what they have inside here is this beautiful wreath that is in the card. These are actually mailable. It takes four um, forever stamps to send it with you, but you can put this on your wall um, and hang it on a door. Like um, I always think of these as a perfect thing for like um, an assisted living or nursing home where the residents have their own personal door in the hallway and they want something a little fun and nice. This is lightweight, easy. It even comes with a little um, adhesive bit on the back of it that you, it's not gonna ruin the door. Hold it up there. And inside here, there's even a little bird that you can perch on the side of here. And so there's just all of these different ways to do simple, easy, things to add a little bit of fall to your walls. So come on in and let us help you and see if we can't find something to spruce up your walls. <laughs>